Yawn. Doesn't matter. Um, so my mom is making jaw jaw. Um, Good morning. so what she did the day before, she just let it soak in um, some water, and that was just simply because um, she had it in the fridge for a while. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> sorry, and then the next morning or the next day, she uh, boiled it for a little while and then let it sit again. So now she's just straining it and um, make sure she gets all the juice. She's actually going to save the rest because sometimes you can um, put it in the rice with the chunks of the jonjo. And jonjo is just dried up mushrooms. Um, and you in Atlanta or here in Georgia, you can get it uh, in Kennesaw. There used to be a store um, off of Lawrenceville Highway or in Lawrenceville, um, but that one's closed out. So then, depending on how much um, she has, she has almost about three and a half cups of the water. Then you know you need to make almost about what six cups two, of rice? No, two cups of rice. Two cups. Oh, okay. Because I thought you had to double it. No, yeah, you know you don't double. For each each cup of rice, one water, each one water two, for two rice, right? No, to one rice. One rice to two, two cups. Two cups of water, one one cup of rice. Right. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, so so I got yeah. three and a half, so I'm gonna do a little close to two, so it can be cleaner. She's gonna do two cups because she doesn't want it to be soft. Then it means kind of uh, not crunchy, but um, harder than. Not not mushy. That's what Granny means. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. What kind of rice are you gonna make? Georgia rice. I know. I'm saying like white rice or brown rice. What are you gonna use? Uh, I'm gonna use white rice. Okay. So you can use it with brown rice, but um, today she's gonna make it with white. It tastes better with white. My, mm -hmm. I think. And this is the pot she's using. My grandma brought it, bought it for for her from either what in Haiti. Um. So it's a non-stick. I mean, you can use any type of pot you want. Um, usually, she would use. Watch out, mom. <coughs> I mean, <coughs> they get the idea. Is that in here? Mm -hmm. she, usually, she would use one of these, depending on the size of rice. Usually, it'll be this one right here. Mm -hmm. Um, and where'd you get these from, Haiti? Okay, so yeah, these are from Haiti. Excuse my voice, it is early in the morning. <clears throat> so yeah. So I will be back when we start cooking it. She's cutting some white onions to put into the rice. This is half of one uh, medium onion. Are you just going to cut one? Is that one half? Okay, yeah, so just half of a one white onion or whatever onion you want. Whatever kind of onion you want to eat and then there's garlic and she's gonna press that using a garlic this is a garlic press put that in you put the garlic inside but make sure that stays inside and you press it into the oil um what of the uh the pot she put oil in the pan. It's just regular um, vegetable oil and seasoning the, uh, what are these called? Onions and the garlic that she pressed over it uh, with salt, pepper, goya with the blue top. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And then once this heats up, she's gonna um, put the onions in there. And um, like I said to y'all before in the previous video, you can either use. Um, Green peas. What I'm saying. Oh. Hold on. You can either use green peas or uh, lima beans, and she's gonna use butter peas, which I guess are crossed between lima beans and green peas, right? This is different texture, different taste. I want to try it. Okay. Well, she. This is experimental because she's never had these in here. So yeah. I like So it's just the frozen kind, and you're gonna do how much? Like a cup of it? Two cups of the beans? One cup of the beans. And she didn't put like about one cup of the um oh. of those in there. I don't know, maybe more, maybe less. Um, but she has to wait for the onions to and the garlic to brown, and then she's gonna add in the peas and let them cook over, and then she'll add in the 
John John uh, water, which gives the rice its flavor and the color. Um, it's, she's going to make just a cup of rice instead. Um, because I'm using this small. Because she's using a smaller uh, pot this time. And then whatever's left, she'll just put it in the fridge and reserve it for another day. Alrighty. This is what they look like. They look like lima beans, but smaller. But I think they're more tender and sweeter. They could see it when there was in the thing. No. Okay. You're not putting it in yet. You're going to wait. Okay. And this can only be good when you cover them. That's how they can What do you cook. mean? Otherwise, they want just like lima beans and stuff. Oh, like okay. Frozen. I got you. Okay. Yeah. So, since they're frozen, when you put them in, make sure after you, so they can cook all the way through and not be like hard and nasty. So that's probably like around one cup. What, a half a cup? I don't know. I don't know, she eyeballed it. She likes a lot of beans in hers. So I mean, depending on how you like your rice, you put a lot or a little, whatever. Just eyeball it, you'll be okay. What's up? Back up. Um, yeah, so now she's gonna cover it and let that cook a little. So they're nice and tender and not, um, not cooked all the way. And you're gonna lower the heat some. What do you want to do? Yeah. What? Me. Give it to what in my room? My toys in there. My toys in your room? Hold on. I mean, in my room? Yeah. So, yeah. You just cover it, lower the heat, and come back to check it when the pea 